time, you know, most uh, you have pastors and a lot of times, but they're preaching on salvation. And everything's salvation. Everything's salvation. They don't go and get in more of the meat and a little bit and other things. And they're always, did you know what's going to happen to that congregation? They're going to want to get saved. They're going to get saved again. They feel like they never got saved. So they get in a country, so they got to have, the, they'll wear the rededicator out. Yeah. They'll rededicate and rededicate because that's all that power. Listen, you get what you preach. Yes. If you right. preach righteousness, you get your people acting right. Yes. If you get people listening to prayers and teach them that God wants to hear their prayers, then you're going to get some people that know how to answer prayer. They ain't got called pastor at 3 o'clock in the morning. Right. Yeah, that's right. That's all right. That's right. So what I'm saying is, is if, 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 if you're wondering what in the world's going on, if it's causing, for instance, even if even if I taught the baptism of the Holy Ghost and I was your pastor and I taught it every Sunday for, for the next six months and you're all filled, I just said, you need to get filled with the Holy Ghost. What would you think? I'm not filled. But if I teach you how to use the tool in your belt of the baptism of the Holy Ghost to your advantage, yes. then you become a skillful, then you become a vessel of honor ready for the master's use. That's right. Sharpening you up, getting you ready. So when the master needs you at Walmart or somebody calls you on the phone, you ain't going to say, wait a minute, let me call Pastor Tony. He can help you. I don't know very much down there. All I know how to do is get born again. And I'm born my rededicator out down there. <laughs> I've signed so many rededicated, rededicated cards down there. I don't know. Let me call Pastor. No, that's not what our heart is. That's not what Pastor Jerry's heart is. I've, I've heard him talk. What his heart is is for his congregation to hear the Word, begin to duplicate it and do it, and go out and make disciples. Yes. So they can do what the book of Acts did. Be wise on it. But in our sense, what I'm getting at is, is when it comes to getting prayers answered, it's coming to get things that we need to get and become vessels of honor in the great house of God. See, can I say this? In God's eyes, you already are. Because God's a faith God. He calls those things as God as though they were. He called Abraham righteous before he ever was. He called him the father of nations before he ever was. God calls those things as not as though they were. See, in, in God's eyes, you're already where He wants you to be because He sees the end result. He's the Alpha and the Omega. Yeah. Amen. See, when it comes to the kingdom of God, God, we're all beginning so we can become the work for the Master's use. We're all endeavoring to get better. Is that not right? You know the biggest room in the whole wide world is the room for improvement? That's the biggest room. Not your living room, not your kitchen. The biggest room is the room for improvement. Yeah. We can all improve. But how about doing what the Apostle Paul said tonight? Before we leave, we forget those things which are behind. And let's press forth to the mark of the high call. Let's get to the place that we're not looking back we're grabbing hold of the plow, man, and we're headed forward. We're not looking and molly grubbing in the past and wishing of yesterday's things. We're looking for today and tomorrow what God's going to bring because now we are more knowledgeable, more developed, and ready, sanctified, honorable to God. 